Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 again. Today we're doing another What If video. So this will be, this is like the end of the trilogy, I guess, because obviously the last episode we did, uh, What If Proxima Centauri replaced Saturn, obviously the episode before, I think we did it with Planet 9. But today we're going to be doing What If Proxima replaced Earth. So you'll probably have the same effect most of the other planets, but I saw most people wanted it for Earth. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And we're also doing it in the Asteroids Plus system made by Goomba today. Because um, there's a lot of asteroids in here, so a lot of these orbits are going to get messed up. So this should be quite interesting to see. But without further ado, guys, just a massive, massive thank you for everyone who has recently subscribed. As, yeah, we are literally less than 100 subscribers away from 8,000 now. So that is absolutely amazing. Really, really cool stuff. Also, apologies to no video yesterday, because usually I'm going to do it every two days. But yeah, I was a bit tired from, from stuff, so I didn't get around to doing it. But yeah, let's get into it. So, Earth, we need to head here. Right, or even there's even a moon here. I guess we can leave that end to see what happens to it. Right, so here is Earth, so we need to go ahead and delete that. And then we're going to go ahead and throw Proxima in. So we'll do uh, two scenarios like we normally do. So we'll, have, we'll place Proxima and literally do nothing. And then we'll place it and do Auto Orbit, and then we'll see what chaos unfolds from there. But yeah, we've got Proxima in the inner solar system now. So that should be pretty chaotic. So let's go ahead and uh, wait, we'll slow down time first, because I reckon the moon is just going to plummet into Proxima. So we're going to click play. And yeah, the moon is already smashed into it, as you can see from the explosion there. So there is that done already. So let's see what Proxima does. And it looks like it's actually, this time around, it's actually got an orbit around the sun. Even though I just placed it in, I didn't click auto orbit or anything. So interesting. Right, anyways, let's go ahead and increase this now. And let's watch. So it's already picked up one of the asteroids in Asteroids Plus here. But let's go ahead and see what, how it ruins the orbits. Because I reckon the other two inner planets, Venus, Mercury, the two close ones, they're going to get ruined pretty quickly. And I'm guessing uh, Mars will be affected quite easily as well. But we can see Proxima is pulling. Look, Mercury's orbit's getting ruined already. And the good thing about doing it in the inner solar system is we don't have to speed the simulation up as fast. Meaning it won't have any objects just shoot out for no reason. But yeah, look at the orbit of Mercury. Look at that completely that could completely leave the solar system now so that is um pretty terrifying stuff if you're on mercury right now you're just going to get completely tossed out the system but i wonder if it'll come back or not don't think it will so let's go ahead and see so it's just going to look at all of these asteroids here they're all going to get affected by proxima here and there's it hasn't got to the orbit of mars yet it's still sitting relatively in the earth and venus area i'm guessing venus here is going to have a close call with it yeah venus as well Looks like Venus is going to have the same fate as Mercury there. So let's keep going. So how is Mars? And here's Mars. It's about to close in on Mars. Getting very, very close to Mars there. It's actually changed the orbit of Mars. And now Mars, as you just saw, got extremely close to the sun there. Heating up to very high temperatures. Oh my god, look at Mars' orbit now. It has launched it extremely close to the sun, as we can see. So we'll slow it down. Look at the temperature on Mars as it rises, though. So we can see it goes up to 800. Almost, oh, I think it almost goes up to 1,000, actually. Let's uh, watch that again. So here we go, so it's approaching the sun. So you can see the temperature is really climbing as it gets closer. Going into the 500s, 600s, 700s, 900s. It went to about 930 there, um, is what I saw. So, yeah, poor Mars is now the new Mercury, and it's probably going to stay there since um, it's close enough to the sun that I don't think Proxima will affect it much. How's uh, Proxima doing anyway? So it's eating up the moon, remember? So it's got a bit of the moon in it. But let's, uh, let's uh, speed things up a little, just to uh, watch it. I mean, we can only speed it up so fast with all of these objects in here anyway. It looks like Mars's orbits continually changes. Every time it goes in and out, its orbit changes by the looks of it. So let's see what happens to Mars. Because it probably its orbit will change. There's no way that orbit's going to be permanent. So there we go. But one thing we're noticing this time around, comparing to do it when we did it with Saturn last episode, is none of the outer planets, their orbits all seem fine. Look at that. I mean, there's a few objects which have been shot out, as we can see there, from the inner solar system. But the outer gas giants, so uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, their orbits look completely fine. I mean, Eris as well, I think Pluto in there, they, they look all fine. Even Sedna. I think just because we're so much closer to the sun here, it seems that Proxima is having a less of an effect on the outer solar system. It seems to all be happening on the inner solar system. Nothing is happening really going on in the outer solar system. So, yeah, we're getting completely different results um, compared to last episode and the episode before that as well. So yeah, like I said, this will probably be the end of the trilogy of these episodes. Unless you guys want more. I mean, we, if you if you want to see that, then let me know what I could replace it with. If enough people will like the idea, I'll go ahead and do it. But if you guys want to see a, another object, let me know. But I think um, 
We've done a fair amount of tests with this now. So we've obviously done Planet 9, we did Jupiter, which is the outer solar system. Now we've done Earth with the inner solar system. I think that's enough to get all of the different results for this. But yeah, if you guys really want to see another episode, let me know um, what object we could uh, replace with Proxima. Or if you want me to replace one of the objects with another star, maybe. So I know some people have said, or oh, replace it, uh, replace an object with UI Scutty or pull it somewhere. I mean, those are the videos I started out. Like, I started off doing those videos back in, like, 2016, early 2017. But if you guys want me to do remastered versions, maybe I could do that when I pre-record a load of videos when I go on holiday this year. Maybe I could go back and visit and remaster some of the old videos. So I actually do plan to do that with the coloured solar systems. With all the new modded objects we've got, we could remaster a lot of the older coloured solar systems. Especially, like, the yellow or the blue, or and the red one as well. Because back then, we didn't have any coloured objects. Especially for yellow. I think I just used cream coloured objects for that. But now we've actually got proper colored objects we can use and make it a lot more interesting but anyways back to this video enough of me talking about all that stuff so proxima is still just causing these asteroids and just making them go crazy like if we go on trail mode here so there we go so now we can see look at all the stuff that's been shot out all so there's venus there that Mar mars has gone as well so that's shot out really quick mercury is somewhere where, where is mercury did it, did it crash into something where'd it go mercury are you in here let's have a look it is in here. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Okay, I didn't spot that. So Mercury's almost at Sedna distance now. Look at that. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been shot out here. So that is um, pretty crazy stuff. So that's pretty much destroyed the inner solar system. But the outer solar system is still pretty much intact. So yeah, it's a two-star system now. And the inner solar system has been destroyed in the process. But the outer solar system is still chilling pretty nicely. But let's go ahead and look at the two stars from Jupiter. How, how are they doing? So you can see there's Proxima there, the smaller one. And you can see the sun as well. So, yeah, you see that other star revolving around. But it seems to be a pretty stable star system we've going, got going on here. So, yeah, outer solar system seems completely fine. And also, I don't think we need to do another test of this. Because it pretty much auto-orbited with the sun anyway. Even without me needing to do anything. So, yeah, if I click auto-orbit, it pretty much gives the same results. I mean, Proxima's barely moved. It's just sitting comfortably where Earth originally was. I mean, we can check how far away it is from the sun here. Yeah, so the orbital period is is varying from 200 to about 300 and 363 days. So just less than an Earth year at 364 days. It goes all the way to 363. So, yeah, it's pretty much at its furthest point. It's still in the Earth area. Or okay, it does go through the Earth area there. But, yeah, it's slightly altered orbit. I mean, nothing ridiculously crazy. But, I mean, look at, look at these trails now. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, Proxima's just sitting comfortably in the Earth and Venus region still. So it's, yeah, not moved. So if we click to all 12 it, I reckon we'd just get the same results. So I don't think we need to do another scenario for this. But we can still see there's a lot of asteroids just chilling. They're just, they're just flying around comfortably around the sun here until Proxima comes and changes their orbits. But it seems like a lot of these objects, they're, they're, they're not, not all of them are getting shot out. But some of them are just having crazy orbit changes. Nothing's orbiting Proxima anymore. So we did have one orbiting Proxima at the beginning there. But yeah, right now... It, it's just shooting the asteroids around pretty crazily. I mean, actually, one thing we could do is add the asteroid belt in as well. See if that has any effect as well. Let's do that. Add ring to the sun. Okay, so the asteroid belt should be in here. Yeah, it's in here. All right, so let's uh, keep an eye on those asteroids. We can see them all there. We'll go on flashlight mode. And oh my god, you can see Proxima is having an enormous effect on the asteroid belt. So it's not just all of these asteroids that are getting tossed around. All of the... Um, all of the normal asteroids in the regular asteroid belt added, they're all getting tossed around as well. Because obviously, a lot of the asteroids in Asteroid Plus, in this simulation, and yeah, Asteroids Plus, a lot of these are asteroid belt objects, which have just been added as custom, unique objects. But remember, they're still part of the asteroid belt, so when you add the main asteroid belt in, all of those objects are going to meet the same fate as all of the ones that have been shot out. I mean, look how many objects are just um, clogged up the areas beyond Jupiter now. Like, the whole, all of the asteroid belt has just been shot out into everywhere i mean some of the bits are already out here i mean these things are flying really quickly there but yeah proxima has completely ruined the asteroid belts we'll go ahead and remove those now just so we can run the simulations more smooth because yeah these objects still represent where the asteroids would be anyway so yeah it's not really a big loss at not having it in here but yeah pretty crazy stuff indeed but yeah proxima is still just chilling around the sun pretty nicely and just a simple binary orbit i mean the sun isn't moving that much but yeah proxima is just chilling around the sun not really doing much so we'll speed it up a bit more. 
You can see it's going to shoot a few more out. It's still runnable. It's nothing's been shot out. But you can see Proxima's orbit slowly changing. It's still the same sort of shape. It's just the orbit slowly or slightly moving around. But you can still see some of the objects. Oh, Ceres has finally been tossed out. So you can see eventually, after a long time, I reckon it'll probably clean out the entire asteroid belt's worth almost. I mean, it's already cleaned out a ton of the asteroids from Asteroids Plus. I mean, they're all being shot out here. I mean, look how many objects that have been shot out. All of these guys, but I reckon if you run this for long enough, it probably would shoot out everything. I mean, Ceres, which is the biggest one, has just been shot out, no problem. So I reckon all of the objects up to Jupiter would get just completely shot out. I mean, yeah, Jupiter hasn't been affected at all. Um, I don't know, actually, never mind. No, its orbit has changed slightly. Actually, Saturn as well. So, okay, so Jupiter and Saturn's orbits, they're still relatively stable, but they're constantly changing. But I don't think it's enough to kick them out of the solar system. So those guys are fine. But yeah, I reckon all of the objects in the inner solar system in the asteroid belt, I reckon eventually, if you continued running this for long enough, I reckon it would probably pretty much get rid of almost all of them by the looks of the test that we've done so far. I mean, look how many have been shot out of here. That's quite a quite a big chunk. And obviously, you guys saw when I had the asteroid belt in as well, all of those guys got shot out pretty much immediately. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we can safely conclude it. If you replaced Earth with Proxima Centauri, the whole inner solar system would be destroyed. Everything would be shot out. But the outer solar system, on the other hand, would remain relatively okay. I mean, Jupiter and Saturn's orbits are slightly changed. But uh, you can see Neptune or Uranus has changed as well. But, I mean, they're, they're all right. They're not, I don't think they'd get tossed out uh, for a while. Maybe not straight away. Maybe they would eventually. But it seems that uh, from the earliest um, stages of adding Proxima, and it's mainly the inner solar system where it gets destroyed. But, yeah, that is our conclusion from today's video, guys. So, obviously, like I said, if you want to... Um, me to do another a, a fourth part of this mini series i guess with what if videos where we replace a, another planet of proxima let me know or maybe i could do it with another star um as well so yeah let me know your thoughts on that also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers as we are so close right now also leave a like on this video let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video guys and yeah that is everything so make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye